So this is the Starlink Mini uh, that connects to the satellite stations and provides internet cover. The Mini version is really portable. It allows you to be able to take it wherever you may go, whether that's camping, hiking, holidaying, wherever. It's portable enough that you can take it with you and still have good, strong, reliable internet connection. So let's go through these bits and pieces. Welcome back, we're outside. What we've done now is we've connected the uh, power cable uh, to the house connection. I'm just gonna plug this in uh, to the back of the dish here. What's really important to mention though, guys, um, is that we did have a slight problem trying to access the uh, Cat5 cable, or trying to find the Cat5 cable, but we have managed to uh, locate it. We just had to take off one of the covers here, uh, but that's, um, that's now worked. So we've now got power to this dish. The next thing we need to do is uh, just download the app to our mobile phones. So I've just done that. So here you will see the uh, Starlink app here. I'm just gonna launch this. Now this app here will, um, if we just click startup and click, click on the mini. So once you've selected mini, click on confirm. I have a clear view. I have a location. The Starlink is absolutely plugged in. I need to put this on the floor. <laughs> so it's all plugged in. Uh, opening the settings and Starlink is there. I'm just going to connect to it. And it's now connected. So if you just go back to the app, uh, you can see that the Starlink has paired successfully. Just click on continue. It's calculating the orientation. This could take a couple of minutes. So we just need to make sure it's properly aligned. So on the app here, you can see that we've got the uh, alignment option here. So I'm just going to click on that. Um, the I've got to turn the Starlink to match the target. So we're just going to rotate the Starlink. Um, so rotate your Starlink to match the outline. So I'm just doing that. The Starlink is now aligned. Great. So I'm just going to move back. And as you can see at the moment, it's still downloading. We're at about 41%. So it's finished downloading everything that it's needed to. Um, it says it's currently online. Let's just do a quick speed test to uh, see what kind of speeds we're working with here. So if I just, oh, look at that. Seventy-five, oh, 60, 63 meg um, download, and we're looking at around about twenty meg upload. So just to recap on some of the things here, so I just want to say this is really, really light. It's really light, and as I say, it's really portable. Um, it's one of these things that, as I say, you can take away camping, hiking. And uh, we're going to do a bit more testing as to whether you need to carry this massive uh, cable and the power socket or whether you can just kind of take it with a USB charging pack, something like that. That'd be really, really good. Um, and I've got really, really small hands. So this probably looks bigger than it actually is. But A4 sheet of paper. So it just gives a perspective on size and it's super slim. So you can fit that in your rucksack with actually take, without taking up much space at all. Really, really important. So I think this is a really smart device actually. And like I say, the speeds that we're getting here are absolutely fantastic and enough to stream high definition quality content. So um, we've opted for the roaming package, which um, basically means you can stop and start as and when you want to. Um, we're paying, what, £80 a month. Um, so it can be quite expensive regularly, but I think that the, what it offers in terms of versatility is well worth it.